distinguished speakers, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. India, for the first time, has this valuable opportunity to organize the seventh before East Global Summit. And I take pleasure in welcoming you all to a summit of thought-provoking best practices, but more importantly, actions that will help create a sustainable future. It has been seven years since its inception and before e has already created a spur in developing transformative solutions to influence the global agenda for sustainable development. It is encouraging to know that with every passing year, the summit brings together world leaders, thinkers, CEOs, senior executives, industry experts, civil society organizations to share their ideas, and more importantly, to me, commit to solutions which addresses the most urgent challenges and develop innovative strategies towards sustainable solutions. Ashok, Mr. Ashok Kosla already talked about equity. So economic development, social inclusion, and environment protection, as we know, are all equally critical components of sustainable development and never has the need for this fulfillment been so strongly felt as it is being felt today. This stance has been greatly emphasized in the recently concluded Rio 20 summit, and India clearly highlighted about green economy as one of the means to sustainable development and poverty eradication. This in turn will enhance our ability to manage natural resources sustainability, sustainably and with lo lower negative environmental impacts, increase resource efficiency and reduce waste. A constructive public-private people partnership is critically important for environmentally, economically and socially responsible growth. Charles talked about um, emerging markets like India, China, Brazil growing at faster than global average. They will be the growth drivers in the global business environment. They cater to a larger number of population. These countries are expected to be world's largest economies by 2050. High economic growth combined with the enormous population of these nations will translate into large aggregation of wealth, creating ever more attractive world markets. Since these countries are emerging as a dominant economic power, understanding the direction in which sustainable business will take shape is vital for policymakers, academics, and business leaders alike. To produce actionable recommendations for practice, the topic emerging markets will lead the center stage in this before e summit. Emerging economies are quick to latch on to the cost savings and market opportunities that green technologies represent. Business in these markets are also exploring new approach to organizational leadership that provides innovative solutions and services for a clean economy and a low carbon future that will lead to sustainable development. However, achieving both inclusive and sustainable national development will be possible when there is a collaborative effort from all stakeholders. Along with my industry counterparts, we have amongst us some of the key policy makers of our government who will agree with me that governments today are seeking more effective ways to lead their nations, redefining our economic model for sustainable development. Green economy does not remain just a theory, and thus can be seen with the inclusion of renewed policy frameworks, which includes developing energy-efficient technologies and industrial processes in greening our supply chains and integrating environmental, social, and governing principles. Over the next two decades, India is estimated to grow at an average growth rate of 7 to 8%. In this period, it is estimated to build approximately 80% of the physical assets that will constitute the India of 2030. These assets include infrastructure, real estate, and industrial capacity. Needless to say, such rapid growth will certainly have a huge impact on the environment if adequate focus is not given to sustainable growth. To begin with, India's greenhouse emissions 
are expected to increase by a multiple of 3.5 by 2030 compared to 2005 levels. Therefore, green growth will play a key role in high growth potential, will play a key role in a high growth potential emerging market country like India. Some of the solutions that we need to look at in India are better planned cities, integrated and widely used public transportation, smart grids, intelligent transfer, trans, traffic management. The consumption side of our economy needs to be more green. Public-private partnerships is the only model that can make best-in-class solutions affordable and scalable. Private sector will, of course, lead the way in designing affordable solutions for the local community. The public sector will have to provide regulatory framework and investment support needed to make these solutions, to take these solutions to the masses. We have to look at long-term regulatory framework that allows businesses to invest in sustainability initiatives. Environmental challenges need to be converted into business opportunities. Just an example, India has acute water shortage, and you know, it's very important, we are in the summer months now. Ten Indian states are currently facing severe drought and safe drinking water remains a dream for millions. Business-led solutions in rainwater harvesting, for instance, can play a huge role in mitigating these issues. The government of India has set itself an ambitious target to cover 55% of the households by piped water connections by 2017 and to reach everyone by 2025. This cannot be achieved with the support, without the support of the private sector. Increasing energy efficiency in industry, vehicles, appliances, smart grids and large-scale adoption of clean technology. Uh, so looking at um, energy efficiency in vehicles, 3.5% you know, of the population today own cars, 3.5%. So imagine as the country becomes more middle class, we need to look at um, uh, more energy efficient cars, maybe hybrid technology, etc. here right now. Uh, prom promoting sustainable agriculture and forestry practices is very important given that we are largely an agrarian economy. The agriculture sector in India accounts for about 23% of its electricity usage and 15% of the diesel consumed, one of the highest rates of consumption per hectare of agricultural land globally. I see challenges as opportunities. Opting out is not the solution. Today is about finding solutions and implementing them. Changes can be brought about by collective action which will require courageous leadership and strong partnerships. It is about making a sense of the economy that drives growth, scaling up of smart technologies and development of new business practices. I'm sure that the plenary sessions will be thought provoking and will show us a way to establish resilient businesses that have economic value and contribute to healthy ec ecosystems and strong communities. The green economy needs to be transformative and inclusive. It should aim for resource efficiency, poverty eradication, and job creation, and ensure sustainable growth. I wish you all the very best in the next two days, and looking forward to a great and stimulative discussion, stimulating discussion. Thank you.